Teams from James Madison. Herndon. And Fairfax meet today in a first round match on It's Academic. Good morning, I'm Mac McGarry. Here's the opening round. Each team begins with 100 points, 10 up for a right answer, but 10 off for a wrong answer. In this round, the contestants here in the studio don't see the writing on their screens that you do at home. Team whose light is on first has a chance to answer. I hope you're not squeamish because these questions are all about blood. Identify the following people and things all connected in some way to blood. Leukocytes are this color blood cells that, all right, uh, Fairfax? White. White is right. This 17th century British physician discovered blood circulation. William Harvey, a doctor uses a sphygma manometer, all right, uh, Madison? Blood pressure. To measure blood pressure is right. This Shakespeare lady kept trying to wash blood, Madison. Let me see. Lady Macbeth. Off her hands. Macbeth, that's right. This African-American doctor was a pioneer in setting up blood banks. That's Charles Drew. In the United States, this is the most common blood type. Madison. Type A. Type A. O positive is the answer there. Ten down. Author Bram Stoker created this... All right, Fairfax. Dracula? Yes, Dracula. This half-blood royal person appears in the title of a Harry Potter book. Madison. Half Prince. Prince. Prince is the right answer. That's good. And there's the opening round of It's Academic. It's Academic with Mac McGarry. Sponsored by Giant. New things are happening at Giant. And by the Army's March to Success online SAT preparation program. Thank you very much, ladies, and welcome to another episode of It's Academic, our high school quiz. Team number one is James Madison High School in Vienna, Virginia. First, here's Nils Niemeyer. Nils. Hello, I'm Nils Niemeyer. Uh, I'm a 17-year-old senior at James Madison High School, and I'd like to thank all the folks who came out to see us today. Thank, thank you, thank Nils. You here's Matt McMahon. Hi, I'm Matt McMahon. I'm a senior as well, and this is my fourth year on the show. And I'd like to thank our coach, Mr. Gunn, and his lovely wife, Mrs. Gunn, and all of her supportive staff at Madison. So you tie a record set by many. No red shirts on this show, so four yeah. years is the record. Here's Dan Notaft. I'm a sophomore. I'm 16 years old, and I want to thank our alternates, Liz, Emily, and Husta. Take a look at the screen, man. Each correct answer is worth 20 points to your team. A late crop. You'll be on time if you can rearrange the letters in this phrase. To name what ancient Egyptian queen who was allied with Mark Antony? Cleopatra. Right. Home of the blank, blank new world. You put what same word in these blanks to complete a line from the Star Spangled Banner and a book title by Aldous Huxley. A brave new brave world. Brave is right. Brave is right. Cactus to Cyrillic. It's in this volume of an encyclopedia that you would read out, uh, read about that what legendary city home to King Arthur and his round table. Camelot. Camelot, yes. Berlin, London, Paris. The American Revolution ended at Yorktown, Virginia, but the 1783 treaty that officially ended the war bears the name of what, of which one of these cities? Paris. Paris is right. There's more life, more to life than increasing its speed. This comment was made by what pacifist who was quick to challenge the British colonial government when he led India to independence? Gandhi. Gandhi. Good roll, Madison. 2.20 after your part of the round. <laughs> Turns out to be an all-Virginia show today because here's the team from Herndon High in Fairfax County, Virginia, Dimitri Gann. Uh, my name is Dimitri. I'm a 17-year-old junior. Uh, and I'd like to thank Ms. Belknap, our sponsor, for coming out here today. Okay, thank you, Dimitri. Caitlin Massa. Uh, I'm Caitlin. I'm a 17-year-old senior at Herndon, and I'd like to thank our alternate, Hannah. All right, Caitlin, and uh, Mark uh, Claus. My name's Mark. I'm a 17-year-old senior, and I'd like to thank our principal, Mr. Martinez. Here are your questions, Herndon. Let's try them. North Payne, the letters in this phrase, can be rearranged to name what ancient Greek temple still standing on the Acropolis in Athens? The Parthenon? Yes. Blank ship, blank bell, what same word would appear in these blanks to name a World War II cargo ship and a symbol of freedom located in Philadelphia? Liberty? Yep. Yeah. Asa to pumpkin. You'd read this volume of an old encyclopedia to learn about what ancient city destroyed in 79 AD by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. 
Pompeii. That's it. Mercury, tin, radium. Cinnabar is the principal ore of which of these elements? Once referred to as quicksilver. Mercury? Yes, that's right. Hair is the finest ornament women have. This fine statement was made by what German monk who had a shaved head until he began the Protestant Reformation in 1517. Martin Luther? Boy, not a miss in a carload here. Herndon, 200. Very good. <laughs> Leaving this package for the team from Fairfax uh, High School in Fairfax, uh, Virginia, here's Chloe Sevilla. Hi, I'm Chloe, and I'd like to thank our our friends and family and the cheerleaders for coming to support us today. Th uh, thank you very much, Chloe. Here's uh, Catherine Trays. Hi, I'm Catherine Trays. I'm a 17-year-old senior at Fairfax, and I'd like to thank our principal, Dr. Braybrand, our Fine Arts Academy administrator, Mr. Saunders, and our alternates, Kevin, Aditya, Anurag, and Jackson. Thank you, Catherine. Luke Warnock. Uh, my name is Luke Warnock. I'm a senior at Fairfax. I'd like to thank our coach and sponsor, Mr. Carr, our principal, Dr. Scott Braybrand, and uh, Ms. Melnick, who's uh, in the audience today. Okay, let's run the question gauntlet now, Fairfax. Here's number one. Rats! You can rearrange these letters to get what title given to Russian rulers before the Communist Revolution in 1917. Tsars? Yeah, Tsar with a T, yeah. Uh, King's blank, West blank, you'll place uh, what same word in both blanks to locate both the Merchant Marine Academy and the U.S. Military Academy. Point? Point is the right answer. Harp to horse. With the volume of an encyclopedia here, you'll find information about what chief Greek goddess, the wife of Zeus, Hera? Yeah. Papyrus, glass plates, clay tablets in ancient Babylon, a scribe who used cuneiform writing would be placing wedge-shaped marks on which of these? Clay tablets? That's right. An aesthetic massacre of the innocents. Wow. One critic didn't mince any words here in trashing what popular James Barry story about a boy who refused to grow up. Peter Pan? That's right. So Fairfax 220 and the end of the round. Yeah.